Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for Essential Scales video number two. The natural minor scale, shown here in the key of A minor. This is the scale that is the basis for the majority of rock and pop tunes that are in a minor key. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, so that is a very powerful scale. It's actually the basis of another scale that you might already know, the minor pentatonic scale, which is a simplified version of what I just played. Getting it down string by string, we have the fifth fret, the seventh fret, and the eighth fret of the low E string. Same thing on the A string. Then we're going to the D string, five to seven. That completes one octave. All right, now getting into the next octave G string, we're gonna have four, five, seven. The B string, we're gonna have five, six, eight. And the high E string, five, seven, eight. Okay, you put all that together, we have nice and slow, playing along. One, two, three, four, one. perfect scale to jam over minor chord progressions. Okay, so one thing I want to mention about this uh, scale before we learn the names of the notes and the intervals is that you have already learned this scale position, but you learned it as a major scale in our last scale uh, lesson. Um, and Basically what I want you to know is that when you're playing this scale, you're actually kind of playing in two different keys. The key of A minor, the A natural minor scale, but also if you start it from the pinky note on the low E string, that would be the C major scale in that second position that I showed you uh, in our last lesson. So if you start from the pointer finger, it sounds very minor. But if I start it from the pinky over a C chord, it would have that very major kind of sound to it. Okay, so for every uh, natural minor scale, there's a major scale that has the same exact notes in it. Always remember that. Okay, so getting the notes down, very important. Um, if you're playing this as a minor scale, key of A minor, it's gonna be all naturals, okay? Only in the key of A minor though. So we have A, B, C. D, E, F. Then we're gonna have G and A. That's that one octave right there. And after that, it'll just repeat. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And then we're gonna have B and C again to complete the position. Okay, so there it is in its E shaped position, okay, key of A minor. Now we need to get it in that G shaped position, okay, just as we did in our last scales lesson. Now the next thing I want you to memorize is the pattern of whole steps and half steps in this scale. So we're playing a whole step, a half step, a whole step from that pinky to the pointer finger going on to the next string, a whole step, a half step, Another whole step going to the next string, and another whole step. That brings you to the octave, the end of the scale. Okay, so whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Then it just repeats whole step, half step, whole step, whole step to the fifth fret. The B strings tuned differently, always remember that. Half step. Whole step, whole step, and that is the end of that octave. Then, getting started with another octave, we'd have whole step and half step to complete the position. 
Okay, so now you have that scale in its most common and in my opinion, most useful position. But you also wanna to try to get it in this G position just as we did in our last lesson. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, taking that string by string, we had five on the low E string. On the A string, we're gonna have two, three, five. Same thing on the D string. Two, four, five on the G. All right, then on the B string, we're gonna have three, five, six. And then the high E string, we'll get three and five. All right, put all that together, we have nice and slow. Over that A minor chord. Okay, very good. Now you have that scale down in two different keys. Practice it over and over again. Really get it into your muscle memory. Memorize the notes, memorize the intervals. And once you have that down, try playing it in other keys. For example, eighth fret position, the key of C minor. Put on a backing track in these keys and see if you can start coming up with some of these notes to make uh, your own melodies. something like that. So these things take time to get down. I suggest that you really get the muscle memory down first, get it into your hands, then start considering all the theory behind it. All right, so there you have it, two positions of the natural minor scale, the perfect scale to jam over minor chord progressions with.